Now let us discuss about the potential energy of a two charge system. Suppose you have two charges Q1 and Q2 separated by a distance R12. So how will you find the potential energy of this system? For that let us consider this configuration be brought in two steps. Suppose if I bring the charge Q1 to the point A first that is step 1. Suppose this configuration be brought in two steps. Step 1 is bring the charge Q1 to A. Bring the charge Q1 to the point A. Let's say the work done be W1. I'm drawing here the same figure in two steps that is bringing the charge Q1 to the point A from infinity. See this Q1 is brought from infinity okay, to the point A. In that case you don't have to do any work because surrounding the charge Q1 there is no other charge in the space. Also there is no external field. So the work done will be zero. Clear. Now in as our step 2 step 2 then what we have to do we have to bring the charge q2 to the point b we have to bring the charge q2 suppose this charge never reached b2 sorry b let's say that we are bringing the charge q to the to the point b that is the step one bring q2 to b without provided without disturbing without disturbing q1 that should be mandatory that that is we shouldn't disturb the charge q1 okay now in order to bring the charge q2 to the point b we have to confront q1 okay that is since this distance is equal to r12 this charge q1 will provide a potential at the point b definitely there will be a potential that is potential at b due to charge q1 and we have its magnitude will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 charge divided by distance let's call that as equation number one we already derived this equation before if you have any doubt regarding this derivation you can always go and check the video on the topic electric potential at a point due to a charge i'll put the link in the description below so there is a potential at b now we are bringing the charge q2 to the point b where q1 provide a potential so the work done in that process, let's say W2, W stands for work done, W2 will be potential at B, we know work is equal to potential into charge. We are bringing the charge Q2 to the point B. Okay, so this will be, you know, V is 1 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 by R12 into q2 so this is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 divided by r12 so that is the work done in the second step so in order to get the total work we have to add these two works that is work done in the step one and work done in the step two let me erase here So the total work, total work, let's say total work W will be W1 plus W2. That is work done in these two processes. That is W is equal to, we have W1 equal to 0 plus W2 equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 divided by R12. So that the total work is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 Q1 Q2 divided by R12. So from the conservation of energy, we know that fact that is the work done is stored as potential energy. That is work done to bring this configuration is stored as its potential energy.
so the potential energy potential energy usually represented by the letter u will be the work done so u is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q1 q2 divided by r1 so this is the expression for work potential energy of a two charge system clear